For nearly two centuries, the beating heart of American electoral politics was on the back of a train. Candidates began touring small towns on railway lines, beginning with Andrew Jackson and William Henry Harrison in the 1830s. The greatest whistle-stop tour in American history was the 1896 presidential campaign of William Jennings Bryant, who spoke 600 times to 5 million people from a train car. This method helped politicians connect with as many voters as possible in the country's largest cities and smallest towns, when for many places the most important building was a train depot. Campaign trains were also the site of Machiavellian scheming. There would be the candidate and his staff on one car, and the press on the other car, with the campaign trying to get its message through the press, and the press trying to divulge as much juicy information from the campaign as possible. Whistle stop tours were the cornerstone of campaigns for Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, and well into the 20th century.